Hey guys, thank you so much for checking this video out. As you can tell from the title, I am going to attempt to install a disposal in my sink. I recently had my disposal crap out on me and stopped working a little over a week ago, so we went ahead and ordered one on Amazon. It's the same exact kind as I have in there now, so I hope it's not too difficult to install and I can kind of uninstall the one in there and kind of see how to install this one easily. Um, for reference, my husband is supposed to install it this weekend and I'm not going to let him know, but I'm going to attempt to install it myself today. There is no hard wiring involved. It's a plug uh, disposal, so there should be no chance of electrocuting myself. I think it should be pretty straightforward. So obviously I'm going to read the instructions and everything that came with it just to make sure, but that is what I'm going to attempt to do. So if you guys want to watch a stay-at-home mom attempt to install a disposal in her sink, then stay tuned. By the way, this is from the brand Insincorator and the model is the Badger 1 and as I mentioned this one is the one with the cord so there is no hard wiring involved. Alright guys, here is what we have after I unboxed everything. There's the main unit and then there is a sink attachment, which I actually am not going to need to use because my sink attachment is intact. And then we have all of the parts that came in that little green bag. Not too many, so it doesn't look too daunting. And then we have the instruction list, which does look pretty long. I was hoping that it was like multiple versions of the instructions just in different languages, but nope. 28 steps, all in English, unfortunately. So. And then we have the parts list here and then the tools that you'll need, although I'm pretty sure I won't need those tools because this comes in with a cord, but I'm going to go ahead and read up on this and hopefully start installation soon. So as I was reading over these instructions, I was noticing that so many of the steps pertain to electrical work, which I was fairly certain did not apply to my model because like I mentioned, I have a cord, but I got my phone out and started looking up some of the terms that were referenced like grounding and things like that. And then I was positive that they did not apply to my model. So I ended up calling the Insincorator hotline and just referencing the model that I had and they confirmed that those steps did not apply and basically just to ignore them but there was no instruction manual specific to my model, so I ended up having to get online and look at videos. I found a really helpful video from Insincorator, which I will link below, and after watching that, I felt really confident in my ability to do this, so I went ahead and took everything out from under my sink and started to get going on the installation. Okay guys, I just went out to the garage and I got a couple of tools that I feel like I will need from watching the install video on YouTube. I'm sure plumbers everywhere are like rolling their eyes so bad right now, but um, anyway, I also called the support line and just asked about the power because the instructions I have are for hard wiring a disposal and this one has a plug. So the person on the phone said I did not need to disconnect the circuit breaker for the disposal, but I'm team no chances over here. So I went ahead and disconnected that. I'm not trying to lose my life over a garbage disposal installation. So I'm about to get started. Wish me luck and let's see how this goes. Okay, so the first step in this process, other than unplugging the existing unit and turning off the circuit breaker, is to disconnect the two plumbing connections that are going into the existing unit. So that's what you see me doing here. That top tube goes to the dishwasher and then the other tube. Not really sure where that goes to, but I did know that I needed to disconnect it. So that's what I'm doing here. So when you guys see me look down, I'm actually referencing my laptop, which was playing the Instinct Creator video simultaneously. That was super helpful for me because I just followed along with the video at each different step. 
So the next step here that you see me doing is removing the existing unit from the sink connection. This was stuck on there pretty good, so it did require some leverage as you see, but I was finally able to get that down. Then I started working on the new unit, so that just consisted of putting a rubber gasket in that little hole. That gasket came with the kit. And then now here I am removing a little plastic plug. If you don't have the dishwasher connection tube, you don't need to worry about this step, but I do, so I had to hammer that little plug out um, in order to be able to connect the dishwasher tube to the new unit, so that's what I'm doing here. And now the next step that I'm gonna do is basically just attach this new unit up to the sink connection, so that's what you're about to see me do. This was a little bit tricky just because the space was kind of small and I was trying to film it and then also make sure I got the unit on there correctly and had the holes aligned to the existing plumbing collections, so that's what you see me doing, but it was honestly super easy overall. Okay, so now that I have the new unit hooked up to the sink, the next step is to reconnect those two connections that I disconnected in the beginning. And this was really easy because I didn't even need to use new screws or anything. I just used whatever was on those to begin with because they were not damaged and the replacement was the identical model as the one I was removing. So this was super easy. Okay, so the last step now that those are on is to plug it in. Okay, you guys, the install looked like it went pretty darn good, if I do say so myself, for not knowing what the heck I am doing. I'm going to go downstairs now and turn the breaker back on, and then I'm gonna go up here and fingers crossed that it works, so let's go. Okay, guys, so I turned the power back on, as you saw, and I'm going to go ahead and try I'm so excited. It just worked. I'm gonna be so proud of myself, but you saw everything that I did under here probably. Um, but I just basically only had to replace this unit and I didn't have to like change this tube or anything with this dishwasher tube because they were intact and I was using the same exact unit. So let me just stop talking because if this doesn't work, then I'm gonna look stupid. So let me turn this on. <sighs> OMG! Oh my god, it works. It works. I am so excited. Woohoo! And I see some stuff dripping, so I don't know if that's like a leak, but honestly, that was dripping before I did any of this, so I'm not gonna take I'm not gonna take the blame for that. So really quick just to show you the Aftermath, this is the old unit, which I need to get off of the floor, obviously, but oh my God, you guys, props to plumbers. Like I could honestly never do that job. This stuff looks so disgusting. I don't even know what that is. But yeah, this is the old unit. This is my little setup so I could film this. And then of course I was watching along with a YouTube video as I did this. So yeah, that's the after. Let me just go ahead and put everything back and I will recap with you guys. Okay, you guys, I am all done. I cannot believe that I pulled that off. I was hoping that it would be that easy, and sure enough, it was. Um, despite the instructions having like 28 steps, it really only had like four or five steps. So I'm so, so, so proud of myself right now, and I was planning to surprise my husband, so I wasn't gonna tell him, and then I realized that I needed to tell him just in case I got electrocuted. So I texted him and let him know what I was doing and he just texted me periodically to check in. But I let him know that it was a success as well and he's super proud of me also. So anyway, if you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up, take it for what it is. It's not an official instruction video, clearly, and it is not a recommendation that anybody else try this. Some of you all will end up electrocuting yourselves, so don't try this at home unless you know what you're doing. 
Anyway, so thank you again for watching. And if you want to see similar content from me in the future, then make sure you subscribe.